What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of this Southampton FIFA 16 career mode. Table looks good as you can see in the bottom right hand corner. We're up against Swansea today as we travel to the Liberty Stadium and then we've got a Champions League game so we will know by the end of this episode whether or not we are still in the competition or whether it is over until next year. But now concentrating on the domestic uh, task that is at hand and that is to mount a serious title shot. Let's see what we can do at the Liberty. So here is the side, Forster in goal, Lopez right back, Bertrand left back, Subotic, Van Dijk centre halves. Jordi Classy comes back in, he hasn't played for a while, will uh, partner Wanyama in the midfield. Vilno, who makes it impossible for me to leave him out, will be on the left. Roberto gets that free roll, he's going to move up into that cam position. The Ox on the right, and Yassine Benzia will play an attack. Lopez into the Ox, back to Lopez, who's got a bit of space here. Can he go past his man? He can, early on. Can he stand one up? He's brought down in the area. Referee points straight to the spot. Two minutes in, we've got a chance to take the lead. No question, really. Ashley Williams should know better. He's gone to cross it, clipped his heels. Pen. Benzia is the man with the task. What can he do? Steps up to the spot. Hits it into that top corner. Two minutes in. And we're 1-0 up. It's a decent pen, to be fair. Stepped up confidently. Hit it with power. And pace into that top corner. No chance, Fabianski little nutmeg to find Benzia. He's going to lay it off to Jordi Klasse who hits one. Struck it not as well as he would have liked, but it was a decent effort. Oh, Montero uses his pace to get into the area. We've got to be careful here not to give a penalty away ourselves. Ball is played in. Subotic gets there ahead of the attacker. Klasse with a poor touch and then Montero with a horrendous hit. Oh, Dyer, that is beautiful stuff to beat Subotic. Trying to get across here and prevent a shot on goal. We haven't been able to do it. Forced to make the save. Warning signs from Swansea. Touches it on to Emilio Vilna. Can he beat his man? Normally can. Has done this time. Bertrand is inside. Vilna picks him out. Goes for the return, the youngster. Tight angle. Can he finish? Oh, it's just over the bar. Really good play between the Bertrand and Vilna down this left-hand side. Dyer's giving it away. That's a shocking ball. Finds Roberto. Holds it up. Finds Benzia. Can he finish? Benzia make it 2-0. Fabianski makes a save. Comfortable save. The shot was straight at him. Poor finish. Swansea in possession here. They look to create something before half-time. They're not going to be able to do it. Half-time whistle's gone. So far, so good. It's been an even game, really. Uh, other than the penalty, no real clear-cut opportunities. But 1-0 up, 45 minutes to hold on. Swansea working it well. Subotic trying to get the challenge in. Can't do it. Here is Jack Cork. Plays it inside. Oh, what a move from Swansea. Key with the finish. Three minutes into the second half, they've completely cut us open and got themselves level. It looked as though there was no danger here, to be fair, and then they went back out with patient, moved the ball then very, very quickly through the defence, and it's a top finish. Lucas, they're working it quite well again here, Swansea. We're struggling to defend. Got it into the area. Montero with a turn. Forster with a challenge. Referee waves play on. They've hit the post. It's cleared away from Bertrand. We are all over the show at the start of this second half. Shot from Key goes wide. Chance for us to regroup. Wake up, lads. Come on. So this corner will need to be defended. It is whipped in. It's quite a deep one. Bertrand can't win the header. It goes back across goal. And the ball has ended up in the back of the net. Not quite sure how. Awful defending once again. It's a really, really deep delivery from Key. Headed back across goal. Is it Lopez who gets the final touch? No, I don't think it was. We create something from this. Roberto's going to cut back inside. Onto his right foot now. He's got space for a shot. Sergio Roberto. That was not far away. Right, three changes as I go and search for an equaliser. Austin is on, Balassi is on, Deli Ali comes on, and we've changed to a 4-3-3 as well. Swansea coming forward here, looking to kill this game off. Van Dijk can't catch his man. Ball is stood up to the back stick. There it is. Oh, Lucas's header goes just wide. Lopez finds Wanyama. He will find Roberto. He will find Austin. We're moving the ball very quickly. This is promising stuff. Deli Ali's got a bit of space. Can he hit one, Ali? Good save, Fabianski. Corner this time taken by Roberto. Van Dijk with the header. We are level. Get the ball, lads. I want to win this game. I haven't come here to go home with a point. It's a decent corner from Roberto, Roberto even. That was a very powerful header from Van Dijk. Not sure what Fabianski was up to there. Header was straight at him. He's only got to stand still. So just about four minutes remaining now of the 90. Have we got a chance to win this game? Ali finds Wanyama. Hits one. Finds the top corner. We have done it. What a turnaround. Victor Wanyama with another scream up. We know he has that in his locker. And the formation change has worked. Absolute scenes in the away end. So the ball came into Deli Ali's feet here. Beautiful layoff. Wanyama takes a touch and bang. Ryan Bertrand finds the ox. He finds Roberto. Good skill from him. He's going to play it through to Deli Ali, who has had a decent impact since coming on, to be fair. Could have gone down there and won a penalty, but he stayed on his feet. Swansea looked to attack, but a full-time whistle has gone. What a turnaround we've had here. All three points 
will be coming back to Southampton with us and we could look back at this game at the end of the season and see just how important that win could be. Next up, we travel to Monaco. Anything other than a win means we are out. Atletico Madrid and Benfica both on seven points, first and second in the group. They're playing each other. We need to hope that game is not a draw. We want a winner because otherwise if it's a draw, they'll both move on to eight points. And even if we win our last two games, the most we can get is eight points. So we don't really want to draw. We want one team to win and then lose their remaining game, which would mean if we won both of our games, we would jump into second place. But enough about that. Let's just concentrate on this game. This is the team I've gone with. The same formation that we finished with so strongly against Swansea. Forster in goal, Bertrand left back. Cedric comes in at right back. Subotic, Van Dijk, centre half. Ward Prowse, big day for him. We'll play in midfield with Wanyama and Deli Ali. Balassi on the left, Joel Campbell on the right. And even though he hasn't really hit form this season, Charlie Austin hasn't scored, I'm hoping today will be the day if I put my faith in him, he will recapture the form that he showed last season. Come on, Charlie. Deli Ali will give it back to Campbell. No, he won't. Austin will take over. Rather, it was Campbell, though, because he's a bit more tricky. But the ball drops for Wanyama, who will lay it off to Ward Prowse with the shot. Straight into the hands of Subasic. Ward Prowse into Ali. Balassi to his left. Great ball through. Can he beat the keeper to it? No. 42 yards. Go on then, James Ward Prowse. It's not a bad effort, actually. Tipped over the crossbar. Good little reverse pass to Balassi. He looks for Joel Campbell. That is a very good ball. Can he fizz one across goal? He can. Austin is there. I thought it was in. I thought it was in. Really, really good move. Positive stuff. Turns his man. Monaco being patient about this. To Lalan into the feet of Jan Moutinho. Someone stop him from turning. We haven't been able to. Moutinho with a good shot and a really good save from Fraser Forster. Ball into Deli Alley. He plays it forward looking for Joel Campbell. It's not a good one. Austin with a horrible looking challenge. Nothing given by the referee. Joel Campbell here. Can he finish? He's hit the post with his right foot. Why is he hitting that right footed for a start? What a ball that is. And look how much space they've got. Jan Moutinho here taking on the uh, defender. Oh, wow, he's beaten him. He's played it inside to Lalonde. Forster to the rescue again. Joel Campbell with a very good challenge to win possession back. Ali will find Wanyama. We're approaching half-time. Charlie Austin heads it back to Victor Wanyama. who hits one. It's dipping on the top of the net. This has got a similar feel to that Atletico Madrid game where the ball just won't go in. Half-time whistle's gone. Still nil-nil. Remember, we need the win. Faguli getting into the box here. Forcing him to go backwards. Patient build-up play. Here's Fabinho, though. Oh, well, that was a strange effort. Campbell wins the ball back again. Here is Ward-Prowse. Ali. Oh, good nutmeg. James Ward-Prowse in space. Going to hit one. Frustration again in Europe is real. Still alive. Bertrand finds Deli Ali. Whack. It will not go in. Corner taken by Ward-Prowse. It's a good one. Man goes down. Nothing given. Comes out to Wanyama. Hits one. I thought it was in. I thought that was in. Free kick. Tight angle. Long way out. I think I'm going to try and catch the keeper out. James Ward-Prowse is going to drive one towards goal. Into that bottom corner. What a save. Austin is there. It's cleared away. Look how close that was to going past the line. He has clawed that out at the very, very last second. Inches away from taking the lead here. Just over 20 minutes left, making changes. Austin will come off because he hasn't done that much. Davison will come on. Going to bring on the Ox for Joel Campbell, even though he's played quite well. And Sergi Roberto is going to come on for Ward-Prowse, chucking everything at Monaco now. Ball is played in. It's headed down. Oh, my God, they've hit the post. Ball is chipped into the area. What a goal. What is Forster doing? I don't know how Falcao has done that. The ball was so high. I knew as soon as he hit it, that that was going into the back of the net. How do you defend this, look? What can... <laughs> He's not even kicked it properly. There goes the full-time whistle. Our European dream is over. We're not even going to qualify for the Europa League in third spot. Exact carbon copy of the Atletico Madrid game where we... Uh, Atletico Madrid game where we absolutely dominated. Just couldn't take our chances. You can see the celebrations in the crowd. It's actually really pissing me off. So, looking at the group then, it's not pretty. We are sat bottom without a win, just two points. Monaco have gone top of the group with that victory. I'm a bit shocked, to be honest. I feel like we've played all right. We've held our own in most games, just literally. I know it obviously comes down to more than luck, but we should have beat Madrid. We should have just beat Monaco. We were the better side in that one. We were un... Oh, I just... I don't know. We weren't out of our depth. It's just so frustrating to go out of such a prestigious competition at such an early stage. 
Let's look at the Premier League. That'll make us feel better. Here we go then. Looking at this is much more cheery. We're top. Liverpool are second. Still only a point between us though. 13 games in. We've had 10 wins, 2 draws and 1 defeat. Um, we've only conceded 5 goals though, which is probably the most pleasing thing of all. We have a really, really good... Um, well, Liverpool actually have the best goal difference because they've conceded five more but scored six more so we know scoring goals is an issue we know that our strikers are not firing on all cylinders at the moment Arsenal are third still six points behind us and Spurs seven points behind us in fourth spot United on a real good run of form they've climbed all the way up to sixth Chelsea in the top half now so I expect them to start challenging Burnley, West Ham and Middlesbrough, the teams in the bottom three. I'm still so gutted about the Champions League, by the way, but this is what it's all about for us now. We cannot, don't even have to think about Europe anymore. We've still got one game to play, but I'll give the kids some experience. Winning the title is the only thing now that would really make this season a success. So that is exactly what we aim to do. But thanks for watching, guys. I'll bring this one to a close. Drop a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Like if you've just enjoyed the video anyway. Follow me on Twitter, etc. The links will be down below. And we'll see you next time.